We were born with dignity. It's in our DNA. It's who we are as human beings. Again, contributing to the understanding of what it means to be human. Uh, but here's the part that most people don't think about when they think about dignity. It's also our inborn vulnerability to having that dignity violated, to having that dignity injured. So whenever I ask people about this, about dignity, and I'm, you know, if I were there together with you, I would ask you all to come up with what you think dignity is. And nine times out of 10, the first thing out of people's mouth is that it's respect. Well, I think it's different from respect. And I learned this um, working with parties in conflict because so many of them would say to me, we demand respect from the other side. We are here, we're fighting because we demand respect. They're not treating us you know, at, like we're human beings. And I said to them, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't demand respect. Respect has to be earned, but you can demand to be treated with dignity. That you can do. And that is something that we can work through in a conflict resolution process. We can learn how to treat each other with dignity. Respect is a bridge too far when you're been killing each other. You have to accept that dignity is the way out of your conflict. It was like a couple of years after I wrote my first book that I was invited into the corporate world. And sure enough, sure enough, there were dignity issues present in these workplaces. And, um, and it was the reason why I wrote the second book, Leading with Dignity, because I, I recognize that if leaders don't understand this about how fragile our dignity is and how much it means to us as human beings, if we don't get that, um, then you know, we're missing a huge piece of how to flourish in organizations. Not to mention how to flourish, how you, to help your employees for, flourish, but also, organizations flourish when dignity is in the air. We humans all want to be treated as if we mattered. The second part is when we're not, when we're not treated with dignity, we suffer. And when we are treated with dignity, we flourish. So this is really the basis of, of why I do what I do because I feel like I stumbled upon this deep truth about what it means to be human. And to me, this is something that any leader, whether it's in business or healthcare or education, no matter what, we have to leverage this. We have to understand this, make this part of our repertoire. And, and the thing is, once we have this education around what it means to be human and the role dignity plays in that, uh, you, you just can't imagine how it affects cultures, how it can turn a culture, a toxic work culture around where people feel seen and they feel heard and they feel valued. It's just remarkable. But here's the thing, what I also discovered, even though that simple truth just makes sense and we should leverage this as, as leaders, the other thing I discovered when working, going into the corporate world, working with people on this, the ignorance gap around it is enormous. People have never been exposed, they've never taken a course in dignity, you know, dignity 101, nor is it offered in professional schools. Not yet, it's going to be, we're working on that. But um, it's just, again, we're, 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 we're on the cusp of understanding what it means to be human. And this idea, addressing the ignorance around how people wanna be treated is going to make a sea change in the way we are in our organizations and how we treat one another.